I'm going to show you the mirror tool in Xtool Creative Space, where we can copy and mirror shapes around an axis. And we're going to create this heart, and although it looks pretty simple, there's a few tips and tricks I want to show you along the way. So I'm just going to delete this. So the first thing we need, if we go to the shape panel, basic shapes, we can select this heart here, and then we can resize that to about 150 millimeters and align it to the center. Then if I copy and paste this and use the mirror function and reflect horizontally, if I now put it back in the center, you can see that it's actually not symmetrical either side. So if I just undo and delete, we need to fix this. But before we do that, I'm just going to draw a rectangle around this heart, holding shift to make it square. And I'm going to choose about 200 millimeters and place this in the center. From there, we can select the heart and click edit and use the scissors to snip here and here. Then we can use the select tool and select this first point and click delete and just keep clicking delete till all the points are gone and then click done. So we have half a heart. Now I'm going to select both the square and half the heart and group and then copy and paste. And I'm going to use the mirror function and reflect horizontally. And now if we go to align center, you can now see that we have a, have a better looking heart. I just need to ungroup and delete this square and ungroup again and delete this square. If I zoom in, you can actually see that these points are not in the center and it's the same at the bottom. So that's one thing we need to fix. So if we select both sides of the heart and choose make compound, that joins them up. But if then we go to edit and zoom in, we can now select both of these points and use the horizontal align so they join together. And we can do the same at the bottom, use the horizontal align function to put them on the same point and click done. Now, this might look okay, but if we release the compound path, it's not actually joined. So we need to select both and use the unite function. This then joins everything up correctly. So if we clicked edit and clicked on this point, you can now see there's only one point there and the same at the bottom. So that's joined correctly. Now I'm just going to use the offset function and offset outwards about eight millimeters. And then as this outside heart is slightly rounded at the bottom, I'm just going to use this corner style of mitre. That gives us a point on the bottom and then click confirm. Now I'm going to copy and paste the inside heart and choose about 50 millimeters and align to center. So what we have is a heart in the center and a rim on the outside. From there, I'm just going to make another copy of this heart, rotate it a bit and scale it down. Then I can use the arrow keys and place into a position and I'm just going to copy and paste this a few more times, working around the outside of the heart, just so things overlap. Okay, so I'm just going to make one more copy and bring that down to the bottom and make it a lot smaller. And if we zoom in, we can 
can bring that down. There. So now we've got that, I just want to copy these five hearts onto the other side. So if we use the rectangle tool again and make a square, again, I'm going to choose 200, align it to the center. Then we can select these five hearts by shift clicking and shift clicking on the square and grouping, then copy and paste. And we can reflect horizontally and align it to the center. Then we can ungroup and delete the square and ungroup again and delete the square. So all we need to do now is select everything and then I'm going to shift click on the outside heart and shift click on the inside large heart and choose unite. Then we can select the inside large heart and the joined up hearts and then choose subtract. Then we just have to re release compound on all the inner hearts so we can select everything and choose make compound. And we can check everything's correct by going to the engrave process. And that looks good. And just to finish this off, we need a small circle, about four millimeters, and then offset that too. Then we can select both of those, make compound, and drop into position, make sure it's horizontally aligned, select everything and choose Unite. So there we have a mirrored, perfectly symmetrical heart. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.